Hello and welcome to this episode of Passion Highway's install of the RV lock system into our brand new 2020 Grand Design 397TH. We're going to be installing the right hand combination door lock on our front door and our rear door of the 397TH. What we really love about the RV locks is they're heavy duty, high quality locks um, that have a combination, which is great. So it's easy to get in and out. You don't actually have to have a key, uh, but they do have keys and they key them alike, kind of more like a home. So that makes it very convenient. And they have a lot of other great accessories like uh, remote key fobs and um, 10 pad key you can put on your front, front of your rig type in a combination lock and lock and unlock all of your doors at exactly the same time. Uh, so everything that we're talking about in this video is going to be in the links below. So just below this video description, if you click the down arrows, you'll be able to see all the parts list and uh, find everything that we're talking about. So let's get on with it. You can see these uh, standard RV locks. They're installed on about a million different campers. And they work fine, um, but you gotta have a key. The keys are customized. If you lose your key or forget it somewhere, you can't get in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install RV locks around the rig. Okay, back inside for a minute and thought I would uh, show you the actual box that these guys come in. So this is the RV lock and it's a right hand door means you kind of open it and then it opens out into the right. Uh, so this is what the RV locks look like. So I'll go ahead and open it up. You get a little, little card that shows you the different types of locks that they sell. Uh, your, your key code, so you don't forget what your key code is in case you need to order keys. Um, some discounts and some regular paperwork. See, this is the, the latch that goes on the outside of the door. Uh, the little key fob, we'll program that later. Well, as you can see, this unit is massive compared to the original OEM lock. Just the quality of the uh, locking system compared to the OEM, it's, uh, it's solid steel. It's just a much more secure lock when it comes to uh, safety and keeping your rig protected. But what's nice is it also has uh, the combination. Uh, so they're key to like, and you have a combination so you can put codes in in case you need somebody to be able to get into the unit and you've lost uh, your keys or they don't have access to the keys, they can punch in the code to get right in. Um, so when let me pull this guy apart so you can kind of get a general idea oops, of what it looks like. So this is the uh, inside piece that connects on the inside of the unit. And then this is the uh, uh, outside portion that uh, would be visible from the outside of the unit. Now let's see if I can get a picture of these two together to give you an idea of what's going on. So you can see see how the uh, locks are a different form factor. This one here is uh, more rounded at the top, or this one is uh, more straight. So what happens in that situation if they don't paint behind these, uh, you have a white space that is shown where this this unit curves now luckily for us we knew that ahead of time so we had them paint behind this but if we hadn't we would have really been up the creek when it comes to uh, getting these uh, installed uh, now RV lock does know this and what they do is they sell a little gasket kit that you can put around it that kind of covers that white space up and that's okay uh, but it's much better if it's painted behind it here at the rear door we got her opened I've got a ladder to make it a little bit easier to get up to uh, you just take these four screws out that loosens it from the front and then there's two screws here on the side which actually it looks like one's missing you take those out and then the handle assembly will come apart so let's give that a try okay so now we have the uh, handle off and uh, everything's cleared and ready to go. Next thing is to put the RV lock in. 
Okay, so what's important here is this wire needs to be fished through to the front. So you pull that through and that way it doesn't get kinked inside of the door spacing. You can see that it comes through and this is what the inside portion of the handle will connect to to power the electronics. So the next step after this is in is to put the strike plate in and you just put the screws in loose so you can adjust this and make everything straight after we get the rest of the pieces parts put together. Okay so we have the uh, strike plate and you can see there's like a wide side and a narrow side. So if you look here at the front of this, you can see this side is a little bit wider and then it's narrower the closer it is to the front. Uh, then inside of this, you can see these holes are a little recessed, whereas this side is kind of flat and that side's recessed. So what that tells you is that it needs to go on this way. So the striker part, the part right here, is going to hit the, the um, you know, the outside or the inside of the door, and this just goes on like this. So you put that on, get it in place, and then you put the short screws in and just kind of snug them up enough to hold it in place without getting them too tight so we can adjust it. Okay, so now I have the handle kind of mounted in place, and I have the striker plate on here. Um, but it's still loose, so I can do the final adjustment when we get the outside piece on. So the next step is to bring the outside piece in and connect it up to uh, the power and uh, do the final assembly. Okay, so what we'll see is this here is the bag of the battery compartment, and you can see there's a couple of screws. Uh, that holds the batteries. It's four AA batteries. The nice thing is they come shipped with them, so you don't need to worry about that. But the first thing to test, and let's see if I can get this, and hopefully you can hear this. All right, so now I've got this, now listen. Okay, you hear the beep? So what that tells us is that the system is connected, it has power, so everything's looking good. Okay, so now we have it. Got the uh, handle on the outside pretty well straight. Uh, got the inside latch uh, put together, got the screws in, and let this guy go back and latch. And you can see the uh, handle is working correctly and it's moving the lock in and out like it should. And the outside handle is working. And we can get it here. Let's see here, the uh, inside handle is also working. Okay, so we're here on the front door, and it's pretty straightforward. You just take these three screws out, and then the front of the handle and the back of the handle will pull apart, and then allow you to take the inners out, which would be with these, these screws. Now we have a handle that's completely removed. Now one of the things you can note is, see how this this rig, let's see if I can get a better picture of it. See how it's painted all the way up to the handle? Uh, you're going to find on a lot of 397s and Grand Designs that that is not actually the case. What happens is uh, they don't paint these by default. And I had to custom request that from Precision and Grand Design to get them to paint in. Uh, otherwise, what will happen is that the uh, when you take these apart, the form factor is different between the uh, new one and an old one. You have this like white spot. So luckily, we knew that ahead of time and we ordered this correctly. Okay, it's a little hard to film, but we're going to go ahead and put this lock in, this time in reverse. So we have the uh, lock pushed through the system and out the uh, holes, and then we'll mount the inside portion. And uh, one of the key things here is you're putting this in, you need to fish this little red wire. This is the control wire that connects on the inside. This needs to be fished through and not connected uh, and pinched on the outside. So if that's pinched, it could cause problems with programming. And then in the front, you just push the lock straight through and it pops right in. Okay, one thing to note, you'll see here, uh, there's, there's a, this is a short screw. 
Now the kit comes with four long screws, which are the part that connect this inside into this outside housing. And then the uh, short screws are what connects to uh, the strike plate. So just make sure you use the short screws. Okay, so now I have the screws in, uh, but I still have them in loose. So a trick to make sure that you get everything centered is to leave the system loose. So then on the outside, uh, when you mount the uh, inside plate, you can keep everything nice and square uh, so your handle is straight. Otherwise, if you tighten this down too soon, um, it can make it difficult to put on the inside plate and it can also um, make your handle a little bit crooked. Uh, another trick to help is uh, this is the lock, uh, the deadbolt portion. You want to twist this little handle here to get the deadbolt out. And the reason you do that is so you can adjust this little red handle to be in the lock position and you kind of know where that's going to land. And then um, another piece of this is, if you can see this, there's this little uh, connector right here which is uh, this little uh, latch piece. And what that is, is that is what moves the uh, from the handle. And that guy connects in to this part right here. So the idea is to get that little connector to kind of fit in this little groove, uh, fish this wiring in back in this area here so it's up out of the way and doesn't get locked, and then get the back of this handle which is this little uh, roundish uh, red uh, little knob connector to connect on there. So I'll go ahead and do that part. Okay, so now I have uh, three of the four screws in and you wanna go through a system check to make sure everything works. So you pull this handle here and you can see that that's working. Now again, this is all still loose because we haven't squared up the panel. And then uh, this little handle here want to move that make sure that it works the way we would expect and then over here on the back kind of the same thing want to pull that handle and you can see that when I pull it everything is working the next thing that I need to do is I need to square this up so the front of this is kind of evenly spaced along the frame of the door now it'll still work without it but it just looks a lot better if everything's square so let me do that, then I'm going to put the uh, rest of the screws in and mount her on up. Okay, so now we have the system in place. Got it as straight as I could. It's not perfect, but um, you know, without making the hole a different size, that's about as good as I could get. Got the uh, latch mechanism working here. Got the uh, lock, as you can see, working on this side. And over here, we have the handle. Alright, so that's all looking good. Now, the next tails is to make sure that our screen door, so let's open this guy up, make sure that it connects in, and, and it connects in. You still have access to all the systems. So let's see if we uh, get ourselves locked in here or not. So now we'll close the door. All right, all right, we're latched. That's looking good. All right, that looks good. Now let's go in and make sure, okay, the deadbolt works. Let's try opening it. You can see that the door is latched. All right, so that's good. Open the deadbolt, pull that. All right, so this door is done. That concludes the installation of the RV lock system in our main cabin doors of our Grand Design 397TH toy hauler. I sure hope you enjoyed it. We have several other videos planned around the RV lock system. We're going to do a programming video showing how to program these locks. It's a little bit more involved than we had time for here. We're also going to be installing a 10 keypad lock system on the outside of the rig. So you type in a code and that code would then lock and unlock all of the locks around your rig. That's a pretty cool system. Uh, we're going to do some key fob programming, uh, indoor remote program, and we're also going to uh, do a little bit of the RV Lock product line review. They've got quite a few products out there, and we've tried most of them, so we'll create a video on that as well. And as always, it would really help us if you would uh, click subscribe button below. 
And then after you click subscribe, if you click on the little bell icon off to the right of subscribe, where it'll say subscribed, you click on that and then when we release these new videos, uh, you'll get an email from YouTube letting you know that we posted them. So thank you all very much for your time and watching our video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them as quickly as possible.